Y'all want to see how easy it is to get the hotel key to someone else's room? Watch this. Good. Can I have your room key um, to 219? Thank you. Yeah, definitely do it. Oh my God, I wish I was going to be here to see it. Thank you. Yo, that's scary. Crazy. I walked straight in from the outside, asked for a room key, and they gave me one. Not a uniform, no credentials. I don't even have any ID on me. So when people are really like, oh, well, no one has a key to your room besides you and housekeeping. Not true. Literally anybody can walk into any random hotel and say, hey, can I have the key to this room? They don't ever check. They're supposed to, but they don't. Anyways, this is for the non-believers. Stay safe, y'all. I don't feel as though that goes for every hotel, but I do think that is a possibility that the front desk might not do their job. This seems like somebody not doing their job properly, but I don't think that's the case for every situation. But, yo, you got to be careful out here in these streets now. Even housekeeping. Housekeeping might come in your house. Yo, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of housekeeping coming into my room when I'm not there. This day I was in Kroger, and I walked by this man. Like, I seen this man about four or five times in the grocery store. And on the fifth time, or the sixth time, he will actually speak, talking about some damn shorty, like, I keep seeing you, it must be a sign. I'm really just looking like, bro, really? You took that as a sign? Because I'm kind of scared. I was about to leave my carriage in aisle four. Like, because in this big-ass Kroger, why am I only seeing you? Why am I only seeing you, sir? Bald as shit. Like, and I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, and I'm noticing he got tampons in his car. Like, bro, either go back home to your wife or your daughter. Don't You should not be out here talking to me. Like, that would be so insane. It's crazy. Like, I was at the arcade last week. I'm walking past this man. He got a, mind you, he got a crying toddler in his arm. He's struggling to hold the boy up. You know, talk about some, whoa, damn, shorty, hold on. What? Fix your problem right there. You're, you're like, what are you even doing? Why are your eyes veering away from what's happening in front of you? This boy looked like he was in so much distress, bro. Like, y'all niggas are hilarious. It's sick, y'all. Yesterday, I was in Kroger. I really want us to flip the script, fellas. I want women to chase after us the way that we be chasing after them. Because I hate this shit. We we need... We can't even do it. We can't even do it because we gonna look gay. Fuck it. Normalize showing the girl from the gray sweatpants. Because at this point, like, they, they, they violating us. They are violating us. Y'all be doing this on purpose. I'm convinced that y'all be doing this on purpose. Y'all be doing this on purpose. Y'all, listen, I'm married. Stop sending me shit like this. Boy, shit. <laughs> I wonder if there are any male lot lizards. I wonder if there's any male lot lizards out there. Do you guys know what a lot lizard is? A lot lizard is a prostitute that chills in truck stops. Now, I ain't gonna hold. I ain't gonna hold. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I feel like men are complaining about their wives being boring in the bedroom. Ooh, switch it up real quick. Sorry, okay. I just had to throw it out there because they was throwing it back. They were swallowing. They were doing all the things before they got married. And now it's just side yeah. booty and missionary. So I want to ask, do you think that women... Corey, yeah. be clutching my pearls every <laughs> week, baby. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to ask you seriously, do you think that women are becoming boring in the bedroom once they get married? And do you think that's some of the reasons why men are cheating? I say yes. I think what it took to get her, sometimes you got to keep that moving to keep her and vice versa, right? So like when Paul, check this out, when Paul, when the apostle Paul, dude named Paul, wrote to a church. Oh, he went to the Bible. Corinth, he said something very important to all of them because they were crazy, right? He's like, yo, the wife's body belongs to the husband. The husband's body belongs to the wife. And y'all need to fulfill your marital duties. So mm -hmm. whatever you got to do to keep it spicy, you got to keep it spicy. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I got to be praying in tongues to go in the room and have sex with my wife, I'm going to be in trouble. So I think you got to do what's necessary to keep the things spicy. Now, if you don't believe that, that's on you. I think you got to do what you got to do to keep it spicy. Y'all have us out here ain't swallowing. And y'all be wondering why the side be winning. I am confident 
in this saying. You have to be both the husband and the side dude. Vice versa. Ma'am, you have to be the wife and the side chick. Side chicks have no morals. Side chick have no morals. A side chick would do whatever she can sexually to take your man away from you. That should be the energy you carry with you in the bedroom. Your man playing the game? Just randomly go over there and suck that nigga dick. Mm, I needed this one here. When I say I needed this one, I needed this one here. This is facts. I want to be a missionary. Don't nobody want to have sex in missionary all the time. You know what I'm saying? Give me that thing. We we driving to where we we driving to. Let's pull over on the side of the road. Give me that motherfucker. I'm walking around here on brick. Well, shit, let's build a house then. You feel what I'm saying? Let's mix some cement. I'm trying to find metaphors to, to not get myself... Um, demonetize on YouTube because you can't be too sexual. They they get any feelings. But yeah man, ladies, you have to be both the side chick and the wife. Fellas, you as well. You have to be a side dude and the husband. Like don't don't sleep. A lot of us men we get comfortable. Like even me, I can say I got comfortable. When me and my wife was first dating I had an eight pack. I had muscles. I used to be picking her up and just you know on my baby boy shit. Now, I didn't got a stomach. You feel what I'm saying? I, sometimes I don't be trying to do what I need to do. I'm going to be real. Sometimes I be saying no. Sometimes I be like, oh, I'm too tired. Believe can, can you believe that? Like, I really be, yeah, I'm too tired. I know my faults. I know my faults. So I know a lot of you are very educated, right? So for the very educated, does this not make any sense? If you want to take over a society, you have to get rid of the strong alpha male. It's common sense, no? If you get rid of the strong alpha male, then you can control the feminine more easily. So the trick was always to act like they were empowering women by disempowering men. That was always the trick. And we fell for it. We fell for the okie doke. We need strong alpha males. And this has nothing to do with gay people. Yes, they were part of the agenda, as were we all. It's, I love them. It's got nothing to do with them. It's got to do with the fact that that's how you control a people. If you get rid of their men. Though I know a lot of you are very educated. Hear me out, brothers and sisters. Our society is so bent, especially the women, a lot of women, are so bent on men making a certain amount of money. Just listen to what I'm saying. Over 100000 over 200000 right? Women are no longer attracted to the men that use their hands. To me, I feel as though that is the epitome of an alpha man, like a man who uses hands to build shit. It's niggas out here that don't know how to change a tire. If we were to compare the alpha males in 2024 and the alpha males in 1924, it'd be a huge difference. 1944, it'd be a huge difference. 1964, It'll be a huge difference. <laughs> Bro. Yo, I feel as though only people that work in the manufacturing industry or 
in construction. I feel as though only people that work in these type of industries could really appreciate this video because you know OSHA would have a field day. OSHA will have a field day, son. What? Talking about that. Damn, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Is it me or like days off just be going fast as hell? I literally had three days off. I literally had three days off. And it feels like... Damn, I mean, I, ain't, I love my job. I ain't gonna hold you. I love my job. I love YouTube too, but I love my job. So I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But God damn! It felt like I, I just got off yesterday.